Uh, so we just did our best to do a very, very nice deep clean. Looks beautiful inside. Welcome back guys. Today we got a brand new day. We're gonna start tearing it apart. I wanna get all the airbags out. I'm gonna try to get all the seatbelts out that we gotta send out because they were locked up to get them rebuilt. So let's go ahead and crack on that and not waste any more time. So as you saw, my uh, uncle just gave me a valuable lesson how to fix these. Up. Look at that. It's like brand new. All we got to do, send it down here, maybe do a little bit of body filler, maybe not, and then just uh, repaint it. But it's perfect. There's $134. I think that's the cheapest I found, but obviously without any paint. So here we went ahead and removed it completely. There was, I think, one, two, three. Uh, two more four five and then uh, There's another bolt over here somewhere six. Yeah right there six and then seven right there a little hard to get but not too bad There's this bumper this came off, but we'll be able to uh, JB weld that that's not a big deal. It's very easy simple stuff There's our uh, components of our fog lights, so we're gonna have to fix that right there no big deal that's not a nothing to worry about that much uh, and then we got to pull this right here that's the only thing we got to pull up that way uh, it all lines up because this is too far in that's where the bumper actually uh, screws in right there or the fender sorry so it's got to be all the way out here so no worries so I brought some uh, pliers right over there we'll be able to pull that right out but give you guys inside again after we had cleaned it it is a uh, very very nice and we can pretty much barely even smell the uh, burnt anymore it's a uh, wonderful we're still gonna throw a smoke bomb in here just to give that extra new car smell you know but other than that it cleaned out so nicely it's like a brand new car i love it look at that it's gorgeous so overall it's coming around pretty great we found the dash and uh, all those airbags. The new one has already been ordered. Just uh, these we're gonna have to wait for quite a bit and uh, find out if the guy is gonna sell to us. And then we gotta drive around six or seven hours because it's all the way in North Carolina. So uh, at least we're gonna get this figured out. And then we gotta just uh, find a fog light for ourselves. Well, other than that, we should be able to scuff all this down and pretty much prep it for paint. We have. Pretty much uh, no other body work to do except this right here which it's already fixed pretty much just gotta pull this so i'm gonna try to pull this and i catch you guys when i'm done just wait a minute let me catch my breath i'm sorry but this is one of the worst designs made i think but i'm sweating like crazy trying to remove one bolt from the seat belt let me just show you so here we are taking the seat belt from the passenger side oh my gosh let me just say this molding is ridiculous i don't know who designed this but <sighs> yeah so you unclip it here you don't have to remove this top one that piece right there i removed it because i didn't know you know so all you got to do is remove this little bolt right there uh take that cover off right there that little plastic cover then exposes this bolt here unscrew that bolt bam your seat belt falls off the top right then you got this trim right here that usually you know and somewhere here this is perfectly fine and um, usually you can remove it completely easily so you have you know remove the trim you can actually work in there but guess what this special design you cannot remove the trim until you remove 
that ball right there that's holding the uh, rear seat belt why why is that looped around it i i don't understand what is this purpose it has clips everywhere that can hold it in there i don't know why they had to loop it all the way in there which is just about impossible to get to but enough complaining about that here's another complaint they put this so if you lift this up they put this i guess uh solenoid or whatever it's called the uh locking um portion that's on the bottom of the seat belt itself so below the carpet that you cannot do anything you have to push so hard down just to undo this bolt and now yet that's not enough because now to push even further down to fully have clearance to actually pull this out i'm i've wrestled this for 30 minutes and i cannot pull this out this is ridiculous there, there's obviously something I am missing or um, yeah I'm just I might be special I might be the one who's special but this is uh, what I like to review I don't know guys you let me know but I think I'm complaining too much I've just never had to work so hard just to remove some simple components not simple but things that you should be able to do on your own without having any mechanical skills so and uh, this is a struggle, straight up struggle. <laughs> I'm just dying over here. It is so hot, oh my goodness. Um, we did clean it. Um, I believe I'm gonna show you guys maybe a little bit later in the video. We did a full deep clean of it and uh, it does still smell a little bit like smoked if you leave the doors closed for overnight. We're still gonna smoke bomb it like I said, um, but yeah i'm just trying to get these seal belts out and hopefully locate the module so i can remove it and we can go ahead and ship it out because sometimes it takes like a week to come back till they reset everything and uh yeah rebuild all the seat belts so i'm gonna keep going not gonna give up yet you know there's no room for giving up so i don't know what i'm saying here but i'm gonna keep pushing forward hopefully we get it off because I'm not looking forward for the other side. I just hope they had two different engineers and then other engineer engineered that one and it's a lot easier. Let's just hope that. Okay, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna remove this, show you what it looks like when it's all off. All right guys, I promise I'm not gonna make this video a uh, complaint video or something like that, but here's another complaint for you. So, with that being said, that bolt being so hard on there, I got it off, got it off. But uh, guess what? They engineered it so well that this last bolt I had to remove was one of these. Was this a T50? Yep. Guess what? The one that is actually holding the seat belt, it also is a T50. That's down below. I'm gonna show you in just a second. And uh, I don't know why, usually they're just a socket, like a 14, a 13, or 17. It's perfectly fine, you know, you take it off. You don't feel like you're about to break your hands off, break your hands off, slip and uh, hurt yourself, as in. And um, th this right here, I'm, I'm literally scared that I'm gonna slide and I'm gonna bust my fingers and it's gonna hurt like crazy. I don't know if they put this much Loctite on there or I don't know what's on there, but I'm having to use a bar. Uh, this is the first time I'm gonna use a bar that's this this long. This is like a foot and a half. I just hope it gets it off because I'm scared that I'm about to hurt myself. Yeah. All right, so here's what I'm talking about. Got that off. Whew. Here's the next bolt right there. That's actually holding the seat belt retracting piece and that bolt right there guys right there that is on there so hard i'm i'm gonna try to prop you guys up i can't because this thing is i'm not gonna remove the whole seat just to remove that bolt and i'm pretty sure it's loctited like crazy too so i wouldn't doubt it i i don't doubt anything in this car anymore i think they've tried everything but let's see if I could post you guys up and uh, see if we can remove it without hurting ourselves. 
All right, there you guys are. Let me put this down. There's the bolt. We're gonna try to remove it. Uh, I just don't want to have to go to the hospital because I'm gonna snap something and it just it. You put the socket in, not not even socket. You, you put this T15 here, and it is literally wanting to fall out. It, it's it's exact size. I promise you that. But gosh, it is on there so hard. And they, it's weird because it only has one. Usually they have one here and one here. Like a small 10 millimeter and a 13, 14, like I said, or a 17. But goodness, this is insane. Like, why do I need to use this big of a pipe just to get this bolt off? I, I don't know. Let's just hope I don't break something. Okay. Oh, something snapped. Let's just hope it wasn't my fingers. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let me, I promise I was going full force just pulling by this. There's no leverage at all there. Obviously, this uh, one and a half foot um, puller right here for me, you know, helped me a ton because I almost hurt myself. So, last thing we got to do is uh, remove this little clip that is right there. Same exact as that right there. That is on your little bomb type of deal. And uh, remove this clip here that's actually holding this wire. Well, nah. I just remove this and I remove this wire. So let's uh, take this bolt out. And like I said, I'm going to break stuff. This, this one is just crazy. Crazy. This long old bolt, yeah? I'll show you guys in a minute how long the other bolt was to this. Well, you know, let me just show you. Look look how long this bolt is. Like, this is literally the five inches more. And it is so deep in there. I don't understand why people do that. You, we could use half the size of that. And it would go far enough and hold it down there. I, I, don't, I just don't get it. I don't understand. Maybe I just need to stop complaining, you know. All right, so here we got two of them suckers. I guess one's for jam, one's for the patron, as you would say in uh, Ukrainian, the uh, bomb type of deal. So let's go ahead and use a little pick. If we can use a little pick, let me see if I can use a flathead. I just don't want to stab myself right now. This is just, I feel like this is a day to get hurt or something. And look at that, it is in there. If I could pull this out first. My leg legs has to itch right now. It's the perfect moment, you know. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Bam. Hey, don't forget, you gotta remove the battery. That's we removed the battery in the beginning when we started removing the C bell, uh, the airbags. Doesn't matter if they're blown or not. I just safety first, especially when installing as well. Make sure to uh, remove it. See if I can hold this at the same time. There we go. So not bad. Usually they some get fused on there. Look on the airbags. Happy these came out easy. Sometimes they're so far jammed. You use a pick and you just completely destroy them, and then you gotta go buy brand new ones. But there's that. So yeah. It is not retracting at all. But I know how to rebuild them in the inside from here. There's like a spring tension and everything like that. It's a pretty cool mechanism if uh, you guys look it up but um i think they have to actually uh reset this piece like push it back in there because it has a uh, this sensor in here so i don't know yeah i don't think i could reset that myself i think it shoots it out there type of uh, like a little bomb so uh yeah i don't know but uh usually we just send it out and they get a rebuild so i'm gonna trust the pros okay they're certified I'm not certified, only certified to take parts apart, you know, cars apart and uh, break them. So, awesome. One down, one more to go to the other side. And uh, hopefully after that one, hopefully that one's going to be a little bit easier. I don't believe it, but um, yeah, it's just so hot right now. It's insane. Um, I try to get out and do a, a little bit earlier because it gets so humid out here but let's not complain anymore people got it worse okay so 
let's get to the other side and get it apart. I think the worst part is that I removed the battery already. So we might have to slap it back on just to uh, move the seat. It is literally right there. Hopefully we don't have to. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get away with it. So let's go ahead and jump on the other side. All right guys, I'm sweating like crazy just trying to get this one airbag out, this wheel airbag. After they went to the cool design of, you know, putting the pins in from the sides or the bottom, just pushing on one of these uh, rods to actually uh, release the airbag itself. Let's just say I would like for them to go back to good old screws. Just one screw on one side, the other screw on the other side, and it'll just slide out because, oh my gosh, I have to cut this whole thing off. Like, this whole cover had to go because there was just no way for me to get in there. Let me go ahead and... Uh, flip the camera on and show you guys what I'm talking about all right here we go I mean there was three pins uh, I don't know how they expect me to get these from this side because it's a lot easier to get them from the top instead of the bottom um, so yeah this whole black piece came out with it so I'm gonna have to be careful so I don't damage any of these wires here and uh, another one right there and uh, just slowly slide it off because look at this it's still stuck on this one I'm gonna have to try to slide it off look there's another spring that's actually holding inside there too so it's like you gotta get these two outward instead of inward when it's usually just a push and uh obviously youtube uh, doesn't show exactly how to do it so we uh, go and we learn but um there we go so uh yeah the holes that they give you is one right there and one on the other side so you just gotta supposed to slide something in here let me go ahead and remove this airbag and I'll show you guys. Let's remove these clips. I like to use a small pick sometimes. Sometimes you gotta use a flathead. Bam, here we go. There's two. I'm supposed to be able to slide them right out. Let me use a, maybe a flathead. Just a lightly. Bam. And bam. Well can't get it mixed up so you don't have to mark it yellow goes to yellow blue goes to blue well, let's go ahead and remove this and uh, show you the technology behind this right here i'm gonna have to put this back on in the right area so gosh okay sorry i'm just going crazy over here or something but this uh pin has to be all the way down below and so after you uh slide in here's like the leftover from that wheel slide in through that hole right there you're supposed to somehow slide it and push it against this which somehow only releases this one up here it does not want to release this bottom one it is so hard to get it so um same thing from that side so i would just say you might as well just cut it off if it's a bad airbag just just take it off completely just cut it apart into pieces i went ahead and just first uh cut the little pieces around here that were uh holding around these little grooves right there and then slowly i was able to try to see how this spring uh, type of deal works with this clip and uh slowly got it off but yeah it was about an hour just trying to figure this out i believe i could remove this dash in about 30 minutes but <laughs> it is always good to learn and uh never stop learning when you got new vehicles so no worries about that but we'll have to leave this alone I believe we actually have a uh, price of uh, this airbag and this whole dash which we will have to drive quite a bit of ways but let's uh, stay tuned for that video it'll be coming here shortly so we'll leave this here i'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop down below remove the driver near airbag and uh, try to move along and uh, maybe we'll get the dash airbag off today as well okay so moving on forward i went ahead and just leaving that airbag there because it's I feel like it's gonna take the most time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the dash so we can get some progress done on it. This, oh gosh, this uh, little complex right here was one of the hardest things to take out. I mean, it is so tight in there with these clips. Man, I felt like I was gonna break it the whole time. So you gotta be very, very careful. Um, these are the main ones, like one right there, one right there, that's the top ones. These are holding it on as well in these little grooves right there then under here is the same uh there's a main one here 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 one main right there so just be very careful it should come out all in one piece super fragile <laughs> i was tugging on it pretty pretty good so i was just very uh 
cautious not to break it because it seems like it's it could break in a in a second so now we're gonna go ahead and try to move on forward i'm gonna remove these screws right here and uh then we'll be able to remove this uh entertainment system right there in the middle and then hopefully we can access to the rest of this all right just then did the four screws let's see if we get yep there we go moves right out so we got two connectors back here, I believe. Nope, we got three. Okay, so this one looks pretty simple. You just lift up here. Should come right out, right on. Make sure you're holding it with something. Instead of me with a camera in my hand, almost break it. And here's obviously like a small little clip right there. I'm just gonna press it or release it. No, we're gonna press it and then pull. See if I could do it with one hand. Uh, almost. Almost so close, so close. Perfect. All right. There we go. And then one more clip right there. Same exact, just a little bigger handle so it's easier to grab. Perfect. There you go. There's your uh, entertainment system. Put that in the back. Right on. So there we go. Pretty sure we are exposed to, yeah, these screws right here that's actually holding this whole thing in here. <sighs> looks like we're gonna have to actually remove this piece as well because there's probably bolts right under here Because you know that everybody loves to make it very complicated So let's see if we can remove this right here and then we're gonna have to remove this vent out as well I had to slowly pry under there and pop it out and luckily I didn't damage any of that But if you guys know any place that is nearby that actually can refelt this and uh, restitch it so it's uh, nice and perfect that way we can only just replace the uh, airbag. That would be huge. I uh, would really appreciate that. Please uh, let me know and down uh, in the comments. That'd be really amazing because uh, you know it's always very expensive to find a whole new dash that is in perfect condition for these brand new models. And uh, like we've been searching, we find one, but it just doesn't match at all. So it's rough. It's rough looking for parts. So not always you can buy a brand new vehicle. Most of the time you'll have to go to the dealership to actually get a lot of these uh, limited parts. So let's go ahead and see if we can uh, remove the rest of these bolts right here and then this right here. So hopefully she'll start moving around and we'll be almost done with the dash. All right, just went ahead and popped this off. Super hard to get in the side to get it started, but after I got that, it came out pretty easy. There's only one connector, so we're good to go. And it does look like uh, there's a couple more screws that are actually holding this all together. Yeah. I don't know if this is just separate or it comes with this whole piece. I'm hoping not, because this wouldn't make any sense. So maybe there's just something holding it back there, like some screws. Like this is it. Like I, I all I did remove the console here, remove this, remove every bolt I can think of. I cannot remove this dash with the speedometer and all that because it is so fragile and you have to pull on it so hard I, I'm, I'm i'm gonna probably break in half i'm gonna snap it in like five different places and i'm gonna have to buy a new one and i don't want to do that you know i give props to those people you know that once the airbag is blown that just uh push it down jb weld it spray it paint it i, I don't know what they do but that's that's about the run of it and uh just leave it be who, who needs a new dash if uh that airbag's still gonna deploy the new one it's still gonna do its job but yeah it's gonna fly faster through it since it's not um original all right we're back so both airbag seat belts are off driver passenger now what we have to do is one of the most important pieces is remove the module um it's right here in the middle i had to do a little well just by the picture of this right here i'm gonna pop it up right there that's uh, what google says it's uh right there in the middle of this console right down below not that google has not been wrong it has been told me it was in one place and it was completely different so i don't know if these vehicles just have a tendency of moving things around but um yeah so we're gonna try to remove that and the worst part is it looks like this whole thing is just one piece that means we have to remove a bunch of this trim slowly but jeep likes to make it so much so nice and tight fit that 
it would might snap and so i just i just really don't want to remove all this this is so much i i don't know why like some vehicles have like little pockets so it'll go halfway here and that way that way that will be one plastic trim and then the rest will be all the way back this one is literally the whole thing so hopefully i'm just gonna be able to remove this upper piece right here and uh hopefully i can see it if i can i'm gonna try really hard to squeeze these fat hands down there and um, try to remove it so let's not waste any time it's super hot so let's get this over with breaking everything apart you know what i mean but uh clip this off from this piece over here but to disconnect these uh, controls for those and uh trying to slide this thing out i found two of these screws right here that actually sit on the uh bottom right there it's obviously off center because it's a little bit uh raised up already see that so it's uh, working actually pretty good it seems like this whole thing will literally slide out after those two bolts and i pop some clips over there so uh let's try to uh, remove these little clips right here should be very simple for us you know common sense stuff unless they made something completely different like i don't, I don't even know how to do this one is this a, okay it's just a push down right there yeah okay sure sounds simple okay we're gonna leave that one because i'm special so let's do this one <laughs> okay i can't do it with one hand so let's see if i can do it with uh holding my holding my foot down there we go there goes one there goes the second one i don't think you can get these mixed up because they're, they're specific. Well, I guess you couldn't get those mixed up. So let's remember, video, got it on video. This is black. This is uh, gray. Obviously this is white one. Let's see. Yeah, let me get that off, just uh, off cam. All right, so I was right. You just push down on this blue piece, slide out. Obviously super, super difficult with one hand so i didn't even bother taking this one out i just took the clip out there you go we're free there we're free here uh what is next i think we should be able to have all this free now there's a bolt right here there you go there's two more and i believe that should be it hey this is a lot less than that accord that we recently uh rebuilt so let's see if we can remove those and uh get this off moment of truth just remove those bolts right there oh yeah look at that she's all moving no i'm not just moving my camera but here we go it is all moving so um so far cannot see i think it's under there i do not think it's this far so let's see if we can remove this just be careful not to drop everything you know i'm being stupid for leaving all this in here but i'm gonna do my best just to uh, lift it up all right so don't forget that just like i just did all right so since uh, we finally removed this whole piece standing right here and uh I guess they were pretty spot on let's go and go a little further down there it is you can see that, that those yellow components right there those are the safety that's usually i believe a standard in uh, vehicles i don't know about europe it's been a and since i've been over there but yeah that's right there so we're gonna have to remove four of those bolts i believe there's four usually there's three so i'm gonna remove those and show you what it looks like once i pull it out so this is the driver's side i would say it's a little bit easier to remove it from here the third one was right here on this side right there uh yeah right there so not as free now we just gotta disconnect the connectors. Just, uh, if you see this little piece right there, most likely have to slide that some way. Um, so yeah, there's a gray piece. See that gray right there? You gotta slide this up this way. Same with that one, slide it inward. So, let's see if I can do it. Yeah. 
I'm over here looking through the camera. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to use a flat header or something because they're on there tight. Just uh, gotta push this little tab down and then you can slide the gray piece off, but two of them. And then here is the finished product. Here we go. This is the uh, module for the airbags, your safety system. You gotta send this out so they can go ahead and reset it with the uh, airbags. Gosh, with the airbags, with the seat belts. And uh, once they get that rebuilt, they'll send it back to you. You can even buy this online, uh, just already reset. So, but you know, might as well save a little bit of money and just uh, get this one uh, rebuilt and reset. But yeah, looks like a mess. It is a mess. We'll have to leave it pretty much just like this so we can install it all back together. But uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. I believe it's getting a little long with all my complaining and uh, with all my sweaty work, but I'm just happy that we're finally at this moment. We will do price to reveal at the end of this build as well, so go ahead and stay tuned. So do smash that subscribe button, hit the little bell to get alerts whenever I'm posting new builds. But stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.